A lot of uh, people have uh, criticized me and called me out because I'm a Democrat, but I'm also willing to give um, uh, the president's uh, tax cut a uh, benefit of the doubt. Um, hate to say it, but uh, there are a lot of people who benefit from uh, cutting some of the corporate income tax and making uh, business a little more competitive and uh, giving stockholders a little bit more uh, money. Um, a lot of us are stockholders. I mean, I don't know if, you know, people have a lot of index funds. People both have investment accounts and retirement funds. Um, these are average working folk, folk uh, like myself. I mean, I work for a living. I don't have millions of bucks in the bank, but I do have a little bit of money invested in the markets and uh, a higher growth rate certainly would be good for me. Although I'm actually not convinced that it's going to make the economy boom. I mean, I think uh, we are going to have close to 2% growth in, uh, over the next few years just because uh, with so many people retiring and um, we have uh, just the economy is not able to produce as much uh, growth as it once did. The workforce has gotten older. You, you want people to retire at some point. And when you retire, you make less money. So, you know, you get Social Security and your uh, other investments, you know, only pay a fixed income per, compared to working years. So that those people are not going to spend as much. And that's just the baby boom retiring. Um, so, I mean, I'm not convinced the Republican tax plan is going to make the economy boom. But I do think it may, may have some positive impacts. And it is going to be expensive. And it may drive up interest rates a little bit by flooding the debt markets. But on the flip side, uh, $1.5 trillion over 10 years is relatively affordable. I and mean, we still have an economy that is growing. It will help pay for a lot of the costs. And I mean, it isn't actually benefiting the wealthy directly in the sense that they're getting lower tax rates. The corporate income tax going down, which will in benefit investments, but it's not going to benefit people who um, just relatively just, you know, make income. I mean, it's still the long-term capital gains rate is the same for people including working folks who have investments um, will still uh, you know, pay the same rate as will rich people. And I mean, the higher income tax brackets have not been dropped. It's just the corporate rate has gone down under the tax plan. Um, I get people don't like the fact that uh, they're uh, doing away with the uh, tax break for uh, uh, you know, free college education for people who get scholarships like that for graduate students. That sucks for them. I agree that probably should not have been included. I do like the idea that they're capping the mortgage tax deduction because I mean, that's been exploited by wealthy folk for a long time. And uh, I do support uh, some of the other... Uh, uh, I do support getting rid of the state and local tax deduction because it does really subsidize high tax states like New York. I do, and I do support increasing the uh, standard deduction because that'll definitely be good for a lot of people, including myself, who's a renter. But uh, so that's my take on the uh, tax plan.